what's going on it's saturday i'm putting in six days um i'm putting in six day work week today man um today i'm rolling out with 576 cases um for what i got 11 stops so today's an easy day um i'm taking advantage i'm running i'm gonna start working six days again stack up some money you know what i mean but um let me know what you guys are rolling out with today if you're running that six day or if you're scheduled to work on a saturday shout out to all the um, chain account guys i know a lot of chain account guys um are off today right yeah most chain account guys run monday to friday or something like that some work on saturdays but that's not the point of my video today, man. The point of my video is, um, yo, let me tell you something. Yesterday, I worked with this, um, new driver, right? He, um, I mean, he got some experience from working with a, a former food service company, but he's still, like, in my consideration, he's still, like, kind of new in the game, right? But let me tell you, I observe the way this driver moves. I observe this way this driver do his thing. And it doesn't take me long to know either you got it or you don't got it. <clears throat> and I'm going to tell you, this driver, he got it. You gotta wanna do this, man. You gotta want it. You know what I'm saying? He wanted it. You know what I mean? And um, even got to the point yesterday where I kind of test him. I told him, um, you gonna do the last two stock by yourself. And with no hesitation, he did the last two stock by himself. And um, stacked the pallets back in the trailer was cleaned out and I'm thinking to myself you know what this driver he got it he got it and um I'm not saying that every driver gonna come in and be like this but some drivers are just different and it's all about the person in you do you want it or do you just want to skate by do you just want to get by getting by do you just want to, um, are you just okay with being okay every day? You know what I mean? The way I see this dude moving, man, either you can come in the food service game, you're going to get a route. Do you want to get a route? Or do you want one of the routes? And if you don't understand one, what, what I mean when I say one of the routes, do you want one of the routes that they talk about? They talk about in the warehouse. They talk about in the office. That's one of the that's one of the staple routes. Do you want a route like that, or do you just want a regular route route? You know what I mean? Because there's a lot of routes in food service that make money, but. You gotta be the man to get a route that made money like it ain't funny. You know what I mean? And in my opinion, in my opinion, in my observation, I think, and I know it was only one day, but trust me, if you know, you know. This dude, I think he gonna end up getting one of the routes. And if I had a say so, which I don't, y'all, y'all, y'all believe me. I don't. I don't got no type of say so. But if I had a say so, I would be training this guy on one of. I would be training this driver on the big road. I wouldn't even. Um, I wouldn't even waste his time. Put him on the extra board whatever um, you guys call that the board 
Hey, let me ask you. <laughs> let me get, ask you guys a question about the board, right? Because I know sometimes we use some words, and if you really think about it, man, it's funny. Have you guys ever seen the board? Is it really a board? Really? Let me know. Comment below. But um, I wouldn't even waste no time putting this guy on the extra board. I would just um hurry up and train him with our systems. Um, train him on the handheld. <laughs> train him on the way we do things around here. And I wouldn't even waste no time putting him on the extra board. That's just me. And it's been a long time. It's been a long time since I've worked with somebody, no, don't get me wrong, I was not, I know yesterday was his uh, first day out, but I did not, I'm not his, I'm not his trainer, so I did not train him, he just came out, he was just helping me out for the day, because I had to um, get done early, I had something to do, but I still, um, I still try to take my time out to show him a lot of things, you know, <clears throat> but I wouldn't even feel right if I didn't, right? So, in my observation, I've been doing this, I've been doing a food service for a minute. I'm going to be honest with you. This might be, this is the fastest driver I've ever trained or let me take that back because I, I didn't train him I'm not training him I don't even know if I'm a trainer I don't even know if they're going to let me train but this is the fastest new driver I have ever worked with since I've been doing this ever and granted he got a little experience, but it's only a couple months. But one thing you can't teach, one thing you cannot teach in the food service game, and that's speed. You can help drivers do things to be more efficient, and efficiency can help with speed, but that natural grab and go speed unteachable uncoachable and when I see it I just see it but it's too bad that probably he probably gonna have to go through the protocols of the two to three week training and then probably gonna have to be an extra for a while and stuff like that before he get a ride and maybe it's other drivers and get a ride before him that been here but if I if me if I had any type of say so I'd be training this guy on the route yo so the message of this video, man, all new food service drivers that come in the game, man, just, just come in and handle your business, man. Be about your business. You know what I mean? You're only gonna go in life as far as yourself can take you. You can't sit back and wait for somebody to carry you along you know what I'm saying? Only you can better you. You know what I mean? So shout out to all the new drivers, man. Y'all just um keep on doing what y'all doing. We see y'all out there, man. Trust me. I observe. And um, if I see something, um, if I see somebody doing good, I'm gonna say something. I'm gonna say something. And you know why? You know why it is that I like to say something when I see somebody doing good or 
I see good new talent. The reason I like to say something, man, is because the thing about how life is, man, people like to report the negativity. They're so quick to report the negativity. Like they don't see when they don't see you when you're doing good every day. But the one day you mess up on something, that's when everybody wanna jump all over you. Right? It's, it's, just, it's just like companies. We come to work every day. We do what we got to do. But the one day we screw something up, that's when we get their attention. And that's just life. And we understand that. Right? But I'm different, man. When I see something good, I like to say something. That's what I'm saying. So I hope the right person to hear this video, man. And just whatever company you work for or whatever company you manage just 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 understand that sometimes just because you just because you got a guy that been on the bench for a long time and the other guy that came in is new don't overlook the new guy do not overlook the new guy. Because maybe, just maybe, Bozo is on the bench because for a reason. Some guys like to be on the bench. Some guys are okay with just being okay. Some guys don't want no route. Some guys don't want that pressure. They don't. You know what I mean? Some guys enjoy just um, driving around helping drivers all day. They don't want to be responsible for a route. And it's okay, man. It's okay if you just want to push three to 400 case a day. You know what I mean? It's okay, nothing wrong with that. You know what I mean? It's okay if you just want to make money. You don't want to make money, you want to make money. It's okay. You know what I mean? It's all right. But if you want to make money in this game, man, you can't just be all right being all right, man. You got to get in the game and, and handle your business. You got to be about your business, man. You got to be upset. You need to be upset when you see six, 700 cases on your truck. You need to be upset when you see only 10 to 15 stops on a street route. And the reason I say a street route because I know chain account is different. In chain account, you can have four stops with like 1,200 cases. You get what I'm saying? You need to be upset. You gotta want more, man. We in this to make money. We in this to just hang out. We ain't in this to just 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 lollygag. We in this we in this to make money. You get what I'm saying? So be upset when your truck ain't loaded. Be upset when you ain't getting up enough stops. Be upset when you're not eating. You know what I'm saying? Be upset. Show that you care. Show that you you actually care about what you do. You know what I mean? Yo, we out of here, man. Y'all gonna make some money, man.